Okay, this is a spinal cord anatomy video, uh, also the spinal cord syndromes. We call this the Dirty Days story. We have to warn you, however, these analogies are a bit rude. So first of all, you draw a bum. Every bum has a bum hole. You draw that next. And sometimes girls like to get tattoos on their bum, so do a tattoo of a butterfly. On the left hand side of the drawing, it's split into three. One posterior, one lateral, one anterior columns. Further split these into two, so you have six segments on the left hand side. Next, draw the anterior and posterior spinal arteries and label it anterior, posterior, and lateral. So, next, label the segments. So, you have G, C, for gracilis and caniatus, C, S for lateral corticospinal lateral spinothalamic, and S, C for anterior spinothalamic and anterior corticospinal. This is sometimes to be remembered as GCSC or GCS. Okay, now the Dirty Dave story. This is for the sensory tracts, the spinothalamic and the posterior columns. Please note well, some books have a deep touch and light touch the other way around, but it doesn't work for this analogy. Okay, so remember the columns that we just discussed. So Dave decided to uh, visit a brothel and he started slow, so he first of all asked for a massage. Uh, this is obviously posterior, so this is posterior columns and deep touch. And then he decided to spice things up a bit, so she just took a vibrator up his ass. Oh yeah. <laughs> Next one, vibration. Uh, this got him going, and you can feel the erection. It is proprioception. And then she turned him over and finished him off. So the anterior spinothalamic is light touch. Let me see here. Dave is a very cheap. He tried to make a run for it. He's running down the boulevard. The pimp caught up with him and dragged him back. Put his hand in the fire. Lateral. Pain and temperature. In this analogy, the only things you can cross are your arms. And these cross below pain and temperature, two levels. Okay, so let's have a look at the posterior core syndrome. So, for example, the damage to the posterior spinal artery, which will take out your gracilis and cuneatus, your posterior columns. Using Dirty Dave's story, this will uh, you lose deep touch, vibration, and proprioception. Okay, so the next one is going to be the anterior cord syndrome, which is typically the damage to the anterior uh, spinal artery. And you'll lose all your motor function as well as the light touch and pain and temperature which will be contralateral if it's only one side of the cord affected. Okay next we have central cord syndrome. To understand the syndrome you need to understand the topography of the the corticospinal tracts. So we draw this on the right hand side of the cord, split it into four as we're doing and then label it CTLS or if you want to remember it another way, ATLS, we all know that. The cervical, thoracic, lumbar, and sacral. Now if you've got a central cord, this will take out your upper limbs more than your lower limbs, like a man in a barrel. There he goes. And last we have brown Saccard syndrome. This is from Charles brown Saccard. There he is. He spent part of his career in Mauritius, where he also trained. There he studied neurophysiology, especially in cane farmers, and cane farmers with sickles. What could happen is with the sickle, an injury could occur to half the cord, i.e. a hemisection of the cord. In doing so, you get loss of epilateral deep touch, vibration, proprioception, light touch, and motor, and contralateral pain and temperature, two levels below.